Previously, we studied the unit circle and the properties of rig function in quadrant 1. We learned that the trig function of any angle is equal to the co function of its complementary. Now we are going to study reflection identities. What is meant by reflection identities? Reflection identities are angle relations result from reflecting an angle theta through the x-axis, y-axis, and the origin. Given an angle theta that corresponds the point x and y coordinates. What do you think the coordinates of the image would be when reflecting it through the y-axis? The coordinates of the corresponding point would be negative x and y. What do you think the measure of its corresponding angle would be? The new angle would be pi minus theta. The x-coordinate of the image is equal to negative the x-coordinate of the original. So, the cosine of the angle pi minus theta is equal to negative the x-coordinate of angle theta, which is the cosine of angle theta. The y-coordinate of the image is equal to the y-coordinate of the original point. So, the sine of angle pi minus theta is equal to y, which is the sine of the original theta. What do you think the coordinates of the image would be when reflecting it through the origin? The coordinates of the corresponding point would be negative x and negative y. What do you think the measure of its corresponding angle would be? The new angle would be pi plus theta. The x-coordinate of the image is equal to negative the x-coordinate of the original. So, the cosine of the angle pi plus theta is equal to negative the x-coordinate of angle theta, which is the cosine of angle theta. The y-coordinate of the image is equal to negative the y-coordinate of the original point. So, the sine of angle pi plus theta is equal to which is the sine of the original theta. What do you think the coordinates of the image would be when reflecting it through the x-axis? The coordinates of the corresponding point would be x and negative y. What do you think the measure of its corresponding angle would be? The new angle would be 2 pi minus theta or negative theta. The x-coordinate of the image is equal to the x-coordinate of the original. So, the cosine of the angle negative theta is equal to the cosine of angle theta. The y-coordinate of the image is equal to negative the y-coordinate of the original point. So, the sine of angle negative theta is equal to negative the sine of the original theta. To sum up, no need to memorize all these identities. Every trig function that has an argument of pi plus theta or minus theta is equal to its function but with the sine of the function in this quarter. For example, cosine pi minus theta is equal to cosine of theta but cosine is negative in the second quadrant so it becomes negative cosine theta.